fun on your experience. We've got wonderful organizations. We've got some wonderful events coming up. Girls Inc. is going to be here in just a couple minutes, but we're going to begin with the Worcester Public Library Foundation. Christine, thanks so much for being here. Tina, thank you. We're going to talk about a great event that you are the, the chair for. But Christine, first let's talk about the Worcester Public Library Foundation and the work that you do here in the, in the city. Give us a little bit of an overview of the foundation itself. Sure. Well, um, Hank, thanks for having us, first off. Um, the foundation was created in 2003 um, by a group of citizens that got together that realized that the library does great things, but um, you know there is some extra money needed to enhance the programs and services um, of the library for the people of the city. I think you know when you see things like public libraries, or you hear about the libraries, and of course we had so many so many branches. But I think people mm -hmm. know over the last 10, 15 years, not just in Worcester, mm -hmm. but all over, uh, the libraries, some of the financial troubles that cities and towns have, have had. You see these types of, of foundations, whether it's for public schools, whether it's mm -hmm. for libraries, that that come in from concerned citizens that then are able to augment it, just as you're saying, mm -hmm. make sure some things don't fall through the cracks. What are some of the things that the Worcester Public Library Foundation does? Sure. Well, we um, every year we support uh, the summer reading program. The city does give money, but we are able to supplement and, and support that in order to enhance the programs and provide more great programming for the kids and actually adults and teens that benefit from the program. Yeah, I've seen an awful lot of people uh, go through that public library. I don't know mm -hmm. if people understand just uh, mm -hmm. the use that that gets day in and day out with the tens of thousands of visitors per, uh, per year. So we have this wonderful event that is coming up and this is going to be raising some money for the Worcester Public Library Foundation, but it's a wonderful event in and of itself. Tell us about it. So our signature event is the Celebration of Authors. It's being held October 20th at the Crompton Collective. And we have a panel of four authors that are coming to do a moderated discussion. Discuss, uh, the moderator is Joe Cox, the president of the Echo Charum, who's been lovely to volunteer his time for us for the third year in a row, and mm. he does a great, great job. Tell me when we, we got four authors coming. Who are the four authors? So we have Lily King. We have Ian Larry, Ian Larry, um, yeah. Joseph Finder, and Anita Diamant. So they're mm -hmm. all award-winning, somewhat local New England authors. Um, Ian Larry has a lot of them have just written books mm -hmm. recently and are looking to go out and promote their books. Ian Larry's written the children. Yeah, I was going to say if you well, yeah, let's talk about a, sure. about each of them uh, yeah. for for a moment or so here. So all from New England. All pr yes. pretty, right? Uh, mm -hmm. When you're putting this together, is that something that, that, that you're looking for, Christine? Are you kind of looking for people from the region? Or how do you decide on the authors that are going to come? Yeah, you know, we send out a lot of requests and kind of see what we get. But most of it is a, a, a lot of them do it at a very low cost. So mm. we can't be paying for travel expenses and stuff like that. No, so they so, know it's for charity. They yeah, so they know it's for charity. Yeah. So if they're in a, you know, a close proximity to Worcester and they're willing to travel and mm. you know get some promotion of their their book in, um, it works well for them as well. So, okay, so I'll give you the quiz yeah. now. Tell me a little bit about oh, each of these <laughs> okay. about each of these authors. I will. So <laughs> Anita Diamant, she um, has written two, I don't know if you've heard of her, but The Red Tent was one of her books and The Boston Girl and those um, ac fabulous yeah. award-winning books. Um, Ann Larry is from Connecticut. It's actually Dennis Larry's wife, so we're excited to have her this year. Uh, she has a book coming out, The Children. Joseph Finder just ha had a book published called Guilty Minds, and he kind of writes a, th they're like thriller, mm -hmm. I don't know if thriller is the right word. word. Um, uh, based in Boston books. Scene based in Boston, so a, a lot, lot of familiar. Like, a little bit like a Dennis Lehane. Yeah, a lot of yeah. familiar yeah. Lo yeah. locations in the I book. I love that. Um, it's been, he's had a couple of movies that have come out from his book. That have oh, come really? out, yeah. Huh. And Ian Leary is, one of her books is actually coming out as a movie as well. No so, kidding. Yeah. I mean, these so, are, these yeah. are, I have to say, Tina, and we'll get to the, to mm -hmm. the final authors, yeah. Lily, in, in just a moment. Really uh, these are some real good gets, I would, I yes. would say. Yes, and one of the nice things is the event, our event is becoming known amongst, in the author world. So mm -hmm. people are like, oh, I've heard of this event. We've heard it's a great event. We'd love to be a part of it. So we're getting a little bit of a reputation as it's a great place to come and kind of talk about your work and yeah. you know just yeah. be a part of the community. And right, our, so the, our, uh, the final author? The final author is Lily King and mm -hmm. her most recent book is called Euphoria 
which mm. is awesome. So we're really excited to, yeah, to have again, her. So very well known. So, yeah. so people who are coming to the event, uh, Christine, are, are they are they coming from all over now? I mean, are you drawing from all different regions or mostly For the most from part, Worcester? it's people yeah. from around this area. Mm -hmm. um, last year, what I was going to say is um, our panel of authors had such a great time, they were referring their author friends. So that was how I, oh, I got nice. a lot of... Um, suggestions this yeah. year and you know once word of mouth spreads that it's a it's a good yeah. reputable event um, you know that that yeah, helps too wanna, to get some good good yeah, names people want to come I gotta yeah. tell you between uh, the art world with Pow Wow and now mm -hmm. authors coming to, yeah. to Worcester I mean it's, it's great for the arts community mm -hmm. as well as well of course such an obvious tie-in to raise money right. for the Worcester Public mm -hmm. Library to have the authors Tina what else happens at the event so we, we put the four authors together and then what happens? So we, um, there's food service. We have food stations that's catered by Struck. We, um, we do, obviously do some fundraising. We do a fund in need. Um, and then we also do a, an a, um, activity where you buy a children's book. And mm. there's 50 of them that we sell as a raffle. And four of the books have prizes in them. Um, one of them is something donated from Sharfman's. Last year it was a pair of diamond earrings. Um, wow. So we'll, it'll be something similar yeah. this year from Sharfman's. We have one of the authors um, that is offering to call into your book group if you do a, a if you do a book group. She will be she'll call in and well, be part how of fantastic your discussion. Is that? Yeah, so talk it's about kind of priceless. I, prize. right, it really right. is. I mean, yeah. talk about. Oh, by the way, can everybody just hold on a moment? Mm -hmm. We have a call coming yeah. in. Here's the uh, here's the, the author, author of the to, uh, so to to then, talk yeah, about it. So who's going to tell us that, that all of our interpretations are dead wrong, <laughs> and this is what it really means. Yes. That's cool. So that's very yeah. fun. Um, some wine. All of the the library board has donated wine to to be. A, um, another prize in a book. So it's fun. It's a great event. Uh, it, it is a fun event. Now, the, the part, uh, Christine, where they are, are they part of a, of a panel and they get to describe a little bit of their book? So they're all, they're all up there together? They're all up there together and Joe Cox is as Tina mm -hmm. said, is moderating, and he'll ask them just kind of fun questions to start a conversation. About he's read up on all of them, and so um, you know, ask questions about their book or what's their favorite. Um, cover of their yeah. book to kind of elicit fun conversation that's where they can talk about That's a great question. I never thought yeah, about well, that all know, the different that artwork yeah that goes with it. Enables yeah. fun discussion amongst yeah. them and then we have questions from the audience and That part's always great. Yeah. That part's always um, great. So sure. so it, it's it's great and it, it um, this year we're focusing our fundraising on replacing Libby. They um, Let's tell everybody old, what I think most people know what it is but yeah but so sure. Libby is the is the nickname for the for the bookmobile. Yes has, uh, I mean, you know, you just talked about you know, part of what the foundation does mm -hmm. and the kids in the summer yeah. and keeping them reading. Libby's a big part of that. Libby is, and so the Worcester Public Library has two bookmobiles. Libby, which has been around for five years, and mm -hmm. Lily is the newest, younger sibling mm -hmm. of Libby. Uh, Libby is about 20 years old, um, but it has only belonged to the Worcester Public Library for five years. So it um, has traveled a lot, <laughs> made a lot of stops, and has benefited the city uh, immensely, but it's old and we need a new vehicle. Yeah, so that's our focus. I, I think, Tina, this is wonderful. I think that when, when people, obviously, listen, it's a great mm -hmm. event in and of itself. Even if it wasn't a fundraiser right. for Libby, people would just want to come out and be part of this I event and be so. able to see you know these four authors and be able to interact. I mean, that really is... Uh, amazing to be able to interact with somebody that you've read, that you admire, mm -hmm. that you want to find out a little bit more about them, hear about their new projects. But to be able, Tina, to keep that money right here in Worcester and to have it go towards Libby is uh, is wonderful. You're the event chair. You kind of put all of this uh, this together. What's uh, how many people are we are we expecting? Tickets are still available. Tickets are still available. We're expecting about 180 to 200, uh, nice. 180 to 200 people. Yeah. So people can still get tickets. They can still get tickets. Uh, just uh, just go to the website, which is on the on the screen. Be Correct. able to uh, to pick and up. And you your, can buy them right online. You, yeah. um, it's very easy. Can you show up day of? No, no. all right. Not. I mean, you really no, have, have to. Yeah, have you really to. Because it have does to. sell out. Yeah, it has sold exactly. out in the yeah. past. Yeah, um, so and people need this, to get them now today. Yeah, with these authors, I know we won't have. You know, we'll be. It'll be a yeah. tight crowd. So. So this is a fundraiser. Now, is it specific? I mean, everything that is raised goes straight for Libby, or are there other things that the foundation is doing that will benefit from this fundraiser as well? Yeah, so primarily our focus is Libby. Um, we do do other smaller things, like we just raised money for a little Halloween party that mm. the teens want to have. You know, everything will benefit, help support 
all the programs of the library going forward. Well, it kind of brings us back to, to where we started, Christina, about you know what it is that the foundation does mm -hmm. and how the foundation works hand mm -hmm. in glove with the library itself and how you're independent from the city of Worcester. Mm -hmm. So the, the funding that you do, the way in which you pick your projects, how do you work with, uh, with the library board, with the, uh, with the library director? Yeah. Well, we, we look to the library board and the head librarian for their priorities. Um, you know, what they're looking to do, what is reasonable for us to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, we're pretty much on the same page and we're there to help them. Yeah. And so uh, it has worked out very well. We have a good relationship with the library and the library board and the city. And, um, you know, things have been going really well yeah. the last few years. We just had this great um, partnership with the city, One City, One Library, which has opened the p um, public libraries in the four elementary schools. Yeah, That's wonderful. been a big tremendous um, initiative over the past few years. And yeah. we just opened our fourth library, Burnco Prep. That's it, yeah, congratulations on that. Yeah. That's a wonderful project. And Tina, I think it goes back to show how the library continues to evolve, continues to keep up with the times. It truly does. It, um, the library offers so much more than just the, the books on the shelf. You know, there's, you can rent, uh, you can take out Wi-Fi hotspots, you mm. can do things with audiobooks, with, uh, you know, write onto your Kindle, um, do eBooks. I mean, through the through your library card yeah, it certainly has stuff. evolved with the times you yeah. know what people what the people want the library will get them whatever type of information services they need the library just adapts and um, you know there's yeah. st still more books there but there's yes. so much else <laughs> they do so Tina one more time people want to get tickets uh, people want to come on out to the event uh, do so now or yes. it'll be sold the event out. is October 20th um, we'd love to have you mm -hmm. Yeah, we'd love come to have you by. come, too. You I bet. Know. Oh, absolutely. So, Four uh, great authors. The <coughs> website is um, mywpl.org. Yeah, and excellent. Or they can call the foundation office. The number's on the website. Well, congratulations on the work you're doing with oh, the foundation. Congratulations you. on putting this wonderful event together as well. And what a great cause to make sure that we have our, our new version of Libby out Thank there and, and, and serving the community. Hey, there's much more to come. We're going to be talking about Girls Inc. in just a moment right here on the Hank Stoltz Experience. Change your own